guys, this is Jennifer. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do the chain stitch. Now, the chain stitch was requested by a subscriber, and she uh, messaged me on Facebook saying, Hey, I want to do, I'm doing a stocking, and I want to do a name in the chain stitch. Can you show me how? So, this is for you, Holly. <laughs> so, the chain stitch is actually rather simple. Um, I'm, I chose a black felt to work on, and I chose two strands of pink so you guys can have a good visual. Okay, so when we start the chain stitch, we're actually going to come up from the bottom. Alright, we're coming up from the bottom, like that. And I put a knot at the end, make sure, I sometimes forget to do that. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is since I'm right handed, I'm actually going to loop it this way, to the so it's going to be clockwise, okay? So, we're going to put our needle here, and we're going to bring it back up again. Now, I'm going to make these chains a little bigger so you guys can see how to do it, okay? So, we're going to keep this clockwise, all right, and then we pull up, and there is the beginning of our chain stitch. Okay, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. Okay, so if we keep going, again, we're gonna go clockwise. So we're keeping this, this side of the tail on this side and keeping the needle on this side. I'm gonna go back down where I came up. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back up. loop it around my needle and then pull it up again. There we go. Do you see the chains forming? I'm going to do a few more. I love the black on pink. Okay, here's another one. I'm going to go around clockwise. There you go. Okay, as you keep going, um, you'll be able to do them faster, but I'm doing them slow so you guys can actually see what they look like. Alright, so that is the chain stitch. The chain stitch is really great for doing borders around certain things. Um, if you're doing a Bucilla Christmas stocking, the chain stitch is used for gingerbread cookies, like for the icing. That's a really cute stitch for that. You can also use the chain stitch to embroider somebody's name onto a stocking. So there is the chain stitch. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.